PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again today. Now you know when you buy your plasma cutter or even a welder and you got your earth lead like this, they normally give you an earth lead about that long. So uh, yeah, I've just got a quick way to make it a little bit longer so you don't have to put your machine too close to where you're working and all that sort of thing. Because I don't like doing that. I like to uh, drag, don't really like to drag my stuff around the workshop. So uh, we'll make some longer leads today guys. I'll show you how quick and easy it is. And always remember, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and remember to have a look at the new website, peachtools.com. Let's get into this, guys. So, guys, you got your little earth lead here, or your, your uh, ground clamp, or whatever you want to call it, with your little clamp here that clamps on your metal, and the other end here is the uh, the plug that plugs into your uh, plasma cutter here. This one here is a 1025 size, the, this little plug. This is about the smallest one you can get, but they do come in two or three different sizes above that. But when you buy these things, they, they come in, a, in a, about a three metre lead like this, which pretty sucks, because it's not really long enough to go anywhere. You almost have to have your plasma cutter machine sitting on your lap while you're plasma cutting. It's a pain in the neck, really. Well, I think it is anyway. So I, um, I just extend these little things, and you can use the extension that you make to plug into any other lead as well. You don't have to have the extension for this one. So uh, anyway, guys, I'll just do a quick video, away and we'll show you how to do that. Hee <laughs> hee! I don't know if you know it or not guys, but I go to the dump about three or four times a week, or well, more than that, actually probably three or four times a day because that's my job, I, I dump dumpster bins full of rubbish and there's always bits and pieces in the way, like this old welding lead here I mean it's buggered, you can see here that, that, the, uh, that the plugs sort of half come off and all the rest of it so they, people just chuck it away, so what I do is I just grab them and use them to make extension cords basically extension leads for my uh, earth clamps and that sort of thing and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple to do and why throw it away if you can use it again? That's my theory anyway. But if you want to do this and you haven't got access to the old leads, of course, you just buy the new, um, the new lead. I think it's that expensive. And you can just make up one extension cord that you could use for your plasma cutter and your welder and all sorts. As long as it's got the same plugs on the end of it, you can just in and out. Anyway, guys, I'll show you how to do it. But um, we'll, we'll strip out this one first. So the old lead that I got from the dump here, we'll take all this crap off it because we don't need that on there, the worn out bits like that. We'll just get rid of them. And you can see here, at the end of that sort of pretty manky, so we'll clean up that end when we get around to it. But this end's all right here. This must have come off the end that the uh, that the clamp was on or something, so that's not too bad. So we don't have to do much with that one. And the one I'm trying to make it up to is this one here, this this plug here. As you can see, that's as a male plug, right? So what I done was I brought some of these. They're called Dins plugs, I think. So I just brought some, and they're cheap. And what I've done is I've got a, a male male and a female connector here so the male is the same as this one so what we'll do is on our extension lead is we'll put the male here so we can plug it into our plasma cutter or our welder on, uh, on that end, on the other end and what we'll do here is we'll put a female end like this on this end here so that we can screw that one into here and then we can put the other end in and we'll bob your wombat, you know we'll have a longer lead, hopefully so this piece of scrap wire I've got is about 3 metres the original lead here I've got is about 3 metres, so that actually gives us about 6 metres. And that's long enough to Pete so you don't have to drag the arse of his machine around the workshop. <laughs> so with these DINs plugs guys, you can see that there's two different sorts of um, boots for them. See this one here is, is a protruding one, like that's, that's like a male boot. And this one here is, is an internal one, it's like a female boot if you understand what I'm saying. So uh, what we need to do really is to put the, uh, the female end of it into the female end of this, if you understand what I'm saying. When I put them together like that, they fit inside each other, so therefore you've got no danger of electrocuting yourself or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, because that would probably be a bad thing to do, really, electrocute yourself. Certainly ruin your day. <laughs> so the male end of the plug here, which is on our, on our good earth clamp, like that. Then we want the female end like this, and a female boot like this. Right, so remember when you're doing this, guys, Always grab the end of your wire that you're, that you're making your extension lead out of and stick it up the guts of this boot first. Don't put this on the wire because you're going to have issues because you won't be able to get the boot on. And uh, if I say I've never done that before, I'm a liar. <laughs> I've done that before, mate. And it, uh, yeah, trick the young players. Anyway, all we do is that. Take about half an inch of the plastic or the coating or whatever you got on there. Just, it's real basic stuff. Some of these plugs here have an insert, like a copper insert. You can put that in and then squash the wire in it, but I don't normally bother because this wire here is quite thick, so I just use it the way it is. 
So stick them in there like so. Make sure you don't get any of the bits going backwards, Pete. Stick them in there like so. These are not a bad quality either, and they're cheap too. I think they're about six bucks or something for a set, really cheap. So as you're trying to muck around with tape and that sort of thing, it's just crap, eh? And you can, there you have an Allen screw in, just tighten it up really tight. Here we go. This is our junk one, remember, that we got from the dump. So all you do now, guys, is you got it in there. And if you notice in, if you notice in here, it's got two lugs that locate into the two lugs into the top here. Right, so what you want to do is line them up, of course. Line them up like that, beautiful. And then give it a good pull backwards. Then push it down to push it home. Now guys, see that? Awesome. Here's our original one. Here's the one that we just made. Second man, screw them up. See that? See that guys? No gap in there because we've got a, a male and a female boot on here, which is awesome. Undo it like that, away you go. So if you want a short lead, you just plug that into your welder or your plasma coat. If you want the longer lead, you just plug your extension in. I reckon that's pretty cool. <laughs> Mind you, I'm pretty simply pleased, you know. Pretty simply pleased, pretty simple guy. So what we need to do with this, guys, see it's all pretty manky like that. So what we need to do is cut it back until we get into a, to a clear bit of a clear bit of wire here, so we're not putting manky stuff onto our plug. So we'll do that. Just bear with me. This wire here is up to, I think it's rated about 150, 200 amp or something. It's quite, um, it's quite heavy wire. And then I just um, bear it back about the same amount as what I did the, the last one. Cold here today, guys. It's bloody freezing. Take them off like so. There you go. It's a decent bit of wire. It's not burnt. See that? It's not burnt or anything in there. It's looking quite good. So once again, remember to put this boot on, and we're on the male side now, because this is the side that's going to plug into our machine. So pull them back like so. And then the same drama, we've got the male pin here. Put them on there, like I said, I don't worry about that copper thing, but you can certainly do it if you want. And see how I cut that back? It's, so there's no wire protruding out there. Once I do that up, it's, it's pretty well sealed, if you understand what I'm saying. Clear as mud, Pete, as usual, clear as mud. And then we'll just tighten them up. I like to get the ones with the uh, Allen screws in like this because you can put some leverage on them and you can really tighten them up. Because some of the other ones, the lighter ones, when you go to pull your wire back, you just pull the wire out of it and it sucks really. So I like to give it the gum boot. Give it the old gum boot. Bob's your wombat sort of thing. So once again, guys, remember to line up the two lines here. You'll see two lines that coincide with the two lines in here. So it's got to slide down in there so it doesn't come out. So uh, just line them up. Give it a bit of pressure. Get them started like that. Once again, we'll do the same drama. Push them down. Push them down. And what you want to do, guys, is just push it down until it's level with this. Till the outside of the boot is level with this sort of flange here. And uh, Bob's your wombat. So what we've made, guys, is an extension lead, basically, from this wire that I found at the tip. But like I say, you can buy it or something. I'll put some links down below, actually. You can get some of this wire if you want it, or you can get some of these plugs. I recommend these plugs, because even if you've buggered, you, you've cut, you've put a big lump, taken a lump out of your welding lead, or you've done something like that, or you've accidentally run over it with a truck like I have, and you've cut it or spliced it, you can just use these things to join it back together again. You don't have tape, and there's no worries about getting zapped, electrocuted, and that sort of thing, because like I said to you before, that sort of ruins your day a bit, eh? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so what I've made this out of that crap wire, so it's given me about another three metres. So, what we've basically done is male female plug, put them in there like so. There you go, and that's pretty useless joining that together, but we'll use it in conjunction with my other welding lead, and I'll show you what we got. So, guys, there's my plasma cutter. We'll see if it, well, this is the original lead. Screw them in there, it goes in there like that. There's the original three metre lead with my clamp on it like so. 
So if I want to extend it to the six meters, grab my uh, grab my new one. <laughs> Here's the new one that we made. This one in there like that. Tighten them up, just a half a turn, it just locks it in there. Grab the other end of it that we have here. Stick them into the machine. Bob's your wombat. Here you go. Half a turn. Now I'm running six meter leads. Yeehaw! So guys, that was a really basic one. It had to extend your plasma cutter earth leads in under about five minutes. Really cool. Got your join in it there, in, out. You can join it onto your welding lead or do whatever you want with it. Yeah, I think they're really cool. And these things are really cheap to, uh, to get these little connectors as well. I wouldn't bother with tape. I used to do it with tape for years and years and years. It's just a waste of time. It looks horrible. And uh, you can't reuse your cord on anything else. Whereas if you're using these little plugs like this, then like I say, you can use it for your plasma cutter or your welder or whatever. As long as it's got the same size plugs on the on the lead, then you're fine. Anyway, guys, that's enough waffle for this time. We'll see you next time, mate. Always remember to subscribe if you like my videos. Give me a like, drop me a comment, and remember to check out peachtools.com. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye. Peachtools.com. Peach